Okay, this is Mr. O'Connor coming to you from the halls of Grays Lake North High School. Welcome, young historians. I'm here today to show you an awesome tech tool that we're going to use uh, for our uh, Thinking Like Historian project, and that is Google Documents. So some of you may have already wor worked a little bit with it. Some of you may be not. You're going to learn from this project, and I'm going to tell you, you're probably going to use it in your personal life because it's the bomb diggity. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I love uh, Google Docs. All right, it's actually known as Google Drive now, but same thing. So, anyways, you go to Google, www.google.com, which you can see up here. You sign in, so you can see I'm signed in over here. You click on Drive. All right, and boom, that takes you to Google Drive. So for you guys, you will probably don't have much already here. I already have a bunch of stuff. Uh, set up here because I use this quite extensively uh, for just everything. Uh, so the first thing you're going to have to be able to do in Google Drive is be able to create a document. So you go over here to the left hand side, click create, click, you can create a lot of different things. What we're going to use is documents. Uh, you're going to have to create an annotated bibliography uh, using documents and this is how you'll do it. So the first thing you're going to want to be able to do is name your document. So you click over on the left hand corner where it says untitled document and name it. We'll just say test run. Click OK. And boom. It's titled test run. All right. And you guys are actually going to have to add your name as well. So I'm going to add my name and put Mr. OC. Boom. All right. And all your documents, you're going to name them. Make sure you put your name as well with the title of the document. So therefore, when you send it to me, I'll be able to see whose it is. And when you send it, this is how you send it. You click share over in the right hand corner and you can see right now it's private. Only I can view it. And you guys are going to have to add in my email address, which is toconnor at d127.org. Click share. Boom shakalaka. And look at that. All right. Now it's shared with me and I can add comments and whatnot and uh, uh, give you feedback in real time as you guys are working on this project which is another awesome facet of Google Documents. Uh, besides that it's just a Word document right so you can type in what you need it's like uh, test run alright and you just type like a word document you have your different uh, you know types of text up here you have you know how big you want to make your text bold italicized underline all of that good stuff is right here for you okay uh, another handy tool that you're gonna to have to use within this is uh, throughout this research project you're gonna have some graphic organizers that you are have to fill out so I've created those already for you they're on my Google site uh, which you'll get the name of that in class and uh, you're going to have to make copies of those so then you can fill them out. So all you, to make a copy of a, a document, you click File and then just make copy. Boom. Title it whatever you want. So we'll say Test Run 2. Boom. And another, another copy comes up and that's Test Run 2. Then I can click back. This is my original one, Test Run Mr. OC. Then I can change this to Test Run 2. I click back up here, put Mr. Whoop, Mr. OC. And then I'd have to click back over here and click Share. Then I'd put Mr. OC. Boom, Share. And done. And now I've shared it. And those are the basic features of Google Docs that we're going to use within this particular project. So hopefully you learned a little bit and uh, this tool will be useful for you and I can give you immediate feedback on what we're doing and it's going to be awesome. Alright, so I will see you guys in class. Have a good day. Over and out.